Hi there, welcome to the tutorial on creating voice scripts in Animator. Here you're going to learn about all the options for making your character talk. The first thing you want to do is use the Add Voice tool on the left toolbar. This will bring up a number of options for giving your character a voice. Let's just go into the first one quickly, which is recording your own voice. After I press the record button, I can speak the words I want my character to say. This is my awesome voice script. I can press stop and re-record, but for now I'll just press OK. This is my awesome voice script. Now I'll open up the timeline and find my character's facial tracks, which will contain all the voice script tracks. Once I'm in there, I'll open up the voice clip track, and there I can see the clip for my recorded voice. There are also two subtracks titled Voice and Lips. Right now there is nothing showing in these tracks because all the info is in the voice clip. If I want to edit that info in more detail, I can go up to my voice clip, right click on it, and then select Ungroup. Now an audio wave appears on the voice track and some keyframes appear on the lip track. Keyframes contain data for all the various lip movements. The next thing I'll show you is the text to speech feature. If I select that, I'm then prompted to enter in a script which I'll quickly do here. Depending on the software you have installed on your computer, you'll have a number of different computer voice options. But for me, I just have boring old Microsoft Sam, which will work just fine for this tutorial. This is my awesome voice script. When I'm done, you'll see the voice clip will appear in the same area of the timeline. Next thing I'll do is add in a WAV file. This will again create the same clip that was created in the previous examples, and the character's mouth will move thanks to the cool lip syncing feature included with Animator. You will learn by the numbers! I will teach you! With this one, I'm going to delete all the facial keys below just to show an example of what they're used for. When I do that and play back, you'll see that the sound will play, but my character's face will not move at all. This is because when I deleted those keyframes, I essentially deleted all the facial movement data. Finally, Crazy Talk Animator can also import scripts from Crazy Talk 6, many of which include facial emotion. After I import in this one, you'll see that the audio will play, and there is also facial emotion. You can't handle the truth. You'll see another difference with this script, as it also includes facial clip data. I'll ungroup that, and you'll see that various automated keyframes will appear now in their respective tracks. Now this character's face ends in a slightly strange place with his teeth bared. I'm going to show you how to close his mouth at the end by using the motion key editor first. I'll go a few frames ahead after the last facial keyframe, and open the motion key editor. What I want to do is close the mouth, so I'll make sure I'm in the modify tab, and move the slider for mouth opening down to zero. A keyframe will appear in the face subtract indicating a facial change. You'll see in the playback that my character's mouth will now close at the end of the clip. I can move that keyframe around to adjust the timing. Now I'm going to add some more emotion into this clip with facial puppeteering. Once I have that panel open, I can select an appropriate profile. You can preview the profile results by moving the mouse button around to get a feel for the different facial expressions. Next I just need to make sure that I'm at the frame at the beginning of the clip, then press record and record my puppeteering motion over the clip. You'll see a puppet clip appear in the facial motion track. You can't handle the truth. If you double click on one of the keyframes in the lip subtrack, this will open up a list of mouse shapes for different sounds. As an alternative from using the motion key editor, I can browse through this list and replace any expression with one from this list to exaggerate a certain area of the speech. You can use the exaggeration slider at the bottom to make slight adjustments to the facial shape. And that's how you can create a realistic facial clip complete with lip syncing and expression in minutes.